What's up guys, it's Try Guy here. I know I haven't really been making videos too much lately so you guys don't really know what's going on, but I'm gonna be doing uh, the first Olympic distance triathlon of this season this Sunday. So I wanna show you guys a little bit of what's going on. I just got my race uh, bag, like package, that gives you all the like stuff for your race. So I wanna show you guys uh, how that works and what you get in that bag if you guys aren't too familiar and it might be different in wherever you are so it might be interesting to see what we get. And then uh, I still got to get my bike ready. I haven't actually taped the handlebars on my P3 yet. Even though I did do the duathlon, I just did it without handlebar tape. So for what is in the race bag, there's probably going to be two main important things, which is going to be the swim cap, the race uh, number, and then sometimes they give you the race chip uh, in it, the timing chip, or sometimes they don't. So we'll see what's in here. And then there's going to be a bunch of other little goodies and uh, little papers. So first thing I found, Road ID, I guess they're kind of sponsoring the race or something, so they've given us a flyer, which I will just throw out. Um, an envelope. That All right, coming up to the important stuff. Uh, swim cap. Looks like I'm number 1110. Um, and then of course it's red, so I'm assuming all the people are doing Olympic. Usually that's how it works, just people who are doing the same distance get the same color swim cap. So this is something I'm going to keep, pack that in my race bag um, when I'm packing my bag to make sure I have this. And um, next up, just got my number. So same thing. It's kind of nice to have this before the race. That way you can just put it on your um, race belt before. Don't have to worry about doing that on the day of the race. A little bit less things to worry about um, on race day, which is always nice. All right, I'm just quickly gonna bring my bikes up outside to put it on the stand. Um, so I'll take off the wheels off of my Amanda and put them back on my P3, like I kind of did in my last little duathlon video, but I've been just kind of swapping them back and forth because I do really like still riding my Amanda with the nice wheels on it. So uh, not too much of a big deal, pretty easy to do now that everything's set up on the P3, but that's about it. So I'll do that right now on the stand and then tape up the bars. Right through the wheels on, already looking a lot better. Just remembered that I don't have pedals for this yet. I actually just ordered some um, about on Monday, I think. So they're probably not gonna be here till next week. So I still gotta swap the pedals on from my Amanda. So I'm just gonna do that really quickly before I put on the handlebars, or not the handlebars, the bar tape, and then uh, we'll be good to go. All right, so I'm just gonna tape this little area here and this little area right there. I know a lot of people like to tape the whole bar, which I think looks really bad. So I'm just gonna tape these little areas, probably not gonna take too much tape. Now, honestly, I've never actually taped aero bars on a TT bike before, so I'm just kinda of gonna to try to figure it out. really the first time I've ever done that so I kind of did a few tries and kind of figured out what looked good. This is kind of a weird bar because it's really short right here but I just kind of figured that out and put it up like that. Tape is done. I was kind of picky and spent a lot of time trying to make it perfect. Doesn't look absolutely perfect. Try to get them pretty symmetrical but uh, did what I can. I think it looks pretty good and it's gonna be great for the race. It's 9.15 at night tonight and I gotta to go to bed at, well, pretty soon because I gotta wake up at 5.30, which is super early. My race is at 7.45 and I still have to kind of get my bag ready. I have a whole bunch of my gear out here, but I'll show you guys as I put stuff in my bag what I'm doing and what I need. Um, I still gotta throw some shoelaces on my warm-up shoes and then I'm gonna to have to put my gels on my aero bars, figure out how I'm mounting them to my bike. So basically with these shop uh, gels, they have kind of a little tab at the top. And um, if you hook it up properly, you can kind of get the tape right in line with that hook. So when you peel it off, it'll just kind of pull off the tab and then um, it'll already be open. All right, so I'm gonna start off with my bag by just putting in uh, my race shoes. These are basically the last thing you need when you're setting up your transition because you're gonna use your bike shoes and your helmet and all that when you do a warm up to go on the bike. So these I'm not gonna be using for a warm up because you gotta leave them in transition. I have another set for warm up. So these go in my shoes uh, in my bag first. So those are my running shoes. Then next up, I throw in my cycling shoes. Boom. 
After that, I like to put in my transition towel. I don't always use this towel, but um, it's sometimes good to put on the ground. I think where our transition is, it's in grass, so it's not really that useful, and it might be kind of annoying, so I might not use it. But um, if you're racing somewhere where the transition is on like pavement or cement, um, it would be a little bit nice to put your feet on if you're changing or putting your socks on or something like that. Um, a little bit softer so you don't scratch up all your stuff. But um, I always bring it to races anyways, so I'm just gonna go in there. Then throw in on my helmet. Don't need uh, these gloves at all, so I'm not gonna use them. Throw that in there. Now I like to put in basically a bunch of little things that could kind of get lost in the bottom of the bag in uh, my helmet, so that counts as my sunglasses. Next up, I'll put my race belt with my number on it. So this I already kind of got set up, which is good. Got this in my race bag, so I just got this set up ready to go already. And it'll go on my bike in transition. So I throw that in my helmet just so I don't lose it. Same thing for the swim cap. I will just put this in my helmet. Um, another thing that I don't want to lose, that's probably going to be the last thing. It's going to stay in my bag, but um, I like to keep it there just so I don't lose it and I know where it is. I have kind of a separate pocket for uh, glasses over here. Then uh, I usually keep extra swim caps and stuff in this pocket right here. Another thing that I'll throw in my bag is socks. Um, a thing that I learned last year at my first Olympic distance was that you get blisters if you don't wear socks on the 10K. On the 5K, you usually don't in a sprint. So I'm gonna throw these socks into my bag and I think it's gonna be worth the extra little bit of time throwing those on not to get blisters and to be able to have a bit of a faster run. Last thing I'm gonna put in my bag for transition is my few extra gels. So of course I put two on the bike. I'm gonna make sure I have one before the race, so that's gonna be in my bag the whole time. And then um, I'm gonna put one in my tri suit for the whole race and put use it on the run if I decide I need it. Last year when I did Olympic, I decided not to use it, but you never know, so this year I'll keep one. And then I just have an extra one just for no reason, just in case. I'll put that in and then other than that I'll probably put a couple water bottles in that bag too just so when I'm walking around um, before the race I can have some water and when I'm taking gels and stuff and little snack in here and there I'll have something to wash it down with. Wetsuit of course is going to be in a separate bag on its own but um, something you definitely don't want to forget if um, it's going to be a wetsuit legal race. This one might actually not be because it's pretty warm. Go, Everything is ready. I'm just going to make a few water bottles as well to bring along and uh, one Gatorade bottle for the bike. And uh, that's about it for this uh, part of the video. I'll bring you guys along later on today. Oh, of course, um, the tri suit I always wear um, as I'm leaving, so I just put clothes over top of it, wear it to the race so you don't have to worry about getting changed there or anything. So that's it. In case you're wondering where the tri suit went, that's what's going on. So that's it. See you guys tomorrow.